Rich forever. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like really, really nervous today. Real nervous. Kids. These moments don't really happen very often. You know, but grateful that the entire family is gonna be able to be here, you know, and it's still sad I'm listening to Rich Forever by Jester Ryle. Who well, the sense of the music and song is about family is everything. And today my family gonna witness a very special moment. Judge a blessing the saint now love. World follow suit when your mind made up. I seen rich forever. It was a lonely feeling for former reggae boy Ryan Thompson when he graduated in 2010 from the University of Tampa. Not one member of his family was in attendance as they were unable to secure US visas to attend. But he got a second chance when he was named among 11 to be inducted into the University of Tampa Hall of Fame. And this time, he wasn't going to make it a lonely road and his trip from Texas was always going to be fun as he and his family headed to Florida. Nothing was going to stop him from soaking up the camaraderie and getting to rub shoulders with those he spent time with in school. It's just great to be back at University of Tampa, the old stamping ground man, just seeing great friends. You know, when I first got here, a lot of people here who helped me out. Just seeing them in this room, you know, makes me happy, you know. And for the occasion, it's a special one, you know, being inducted in all of him. And I never really thought about this when I came here. All I wanted to do is just to give my best in the environment, meet people, and have a good time. And it turned out to be something great. I remember when I just came in again, you know, just excited about enjoy the college life, you know, what college is going to be like and the people I'm going to meet and the people that I'm going to be meeting. Um, it's like brought me back to that moment when I first laid my foot, I put my foot on this campus. So now I'm here, I'm going through it, it's surreal. Seeing all the faces, the familiar faces, you know, makes me happy, man. I feel a lot older now, you know. I have kids, wife, married. In the past, I, 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 when I came here, I came here, you know, from Jamaica, know nothing about the American culture, and was just open to, and to, to what the culture was going to teach me, you know. Now I know a lot about the culture, still open to more stuff that I'm going to be learning, but it's more from a different perspective now, it's more from a place of appreciation and gratitude, you know. But no one was more pleased to be soaking up the occasion than Ryan's mother, Mary Alexander. Well, I'm glad for Ryan comes to my only child. I'm so happy, overjoyed for this moment because when he was graduating, I wasn't at his graduation. And to see I'm here sitting down watching him all of him. I'm so excited, so happy for him. In the beginning, Mary wasn't a fan of Ryan playing football. I love it now because to see how far he, is, he was and where he is at now and what he has done for his life, I'm so happy. I, and I want to thank this, my mom for all of this because it was her who encouraged me not to let him stop playing soccer because I, when I saw him come home with his and finger, injury, all sorts of things, that, and he comes home later and said, Ryan, I told you not to play football. I don't want you to do it because it is dangerous coming home at night because we were living in a volatile era. And my mom said, let him stay. You. He, he loves it, so let him do it. So now, to see he get all of fame in the same month that my mom, the 15th, that 15th was our three years, she departed from us. So, you know, it's a blessing. Despite attending university together, it was while playing for the Tampa Bay Rowdies that he met his wife, Janiel. It was definitely his personality and his vibe and just the way that he treated others around him. And he just wanted everybody to have a great time. He made everybody feel good and loved. Um, and that was, that's really admirable, especially when, when you're young. I think Ryan can move this world for sure. Um, I, I'm in awe of him every day with all of the new things that pop up in his life and just the way he continues to press forward and just his positive outlook on life and his positive outlook on people regardless of what happens. 
he's just truly amazing and I, I know you know we can't say that enough his friends and his family here today but to know him is really um, a privilege and a, and a special treat for everybody. Ryan is really sensitive and he's really, really caring. So um, he's been known to cry a few times and I know he'll be okay, you know, with me saying that. Um, but he's, when you love so hard, you have really big emotions and you care a lot about people and your, yourself and the surroundings. So, his heart is just so big and he's always, you know, loving hard. It was also good to run into old friend Dorado Phipps. Funny stories. I met Ryan when I was like seven or eight. As a kid going to Harborview soccer team to, um, with my cousin to watch them train. So I was the smallest one around here, like so small, like the jersey couldn't fit me. <laughs> so I know him from then and I always keep in touch. We went to the same high school, live in the same community in Jamaica as well. So we go way, way back, way back. Thompson's former coach, Adrian Bush, was also in the house. From the day he walked in the door, um, I think he's one of two people that have been four-year captains at our, uh, at our school. But literally he was here, I think for a week. He knew the entire school, uh, born leader, and from day one, you could just see the ability. But, you know, forget the stuff that he does on the field. It's, I think, more about what he is off the field. And that's, uh, you know, I think that's what makes a Hall of Famer. And I'm very proud of what he's been able to achieve. I think leadership, it's, it's hard. It's what we build our program on. It's hard work, commitment, and preparation. And I think those three things are things that he's engraved in. Brian James is also a close acquaintance of Ryan and is not short of adjectives to describe the man. To someone who doesn't know Ryan, I would describe <laughs> I would describe him as extremely energetic, extremely enthusiastic, a go-getter, and he has the hugest heart. Like he really cares for people. You'll never meet someone that has anything negative to say about Ryan. He always brings a positive attitude and positive energy to wherever he goes. He lights up a room. He's just, he's a ball of energy. That's how I would sum it up. Also falling in love with Ryan's energy was Roman Cowan. I met Ryan Thompson my first day of school, man, in 2006. Um, went to college, met him, and fell in love with his energy. We've been good friends since. I love that he gets after life. He, he smiles at everybody he meets. And the fact of the matter is, no matter how rich or poor he is, he seems like one of the richest men in the world to me. I value your energy, your heart, more than your pocket. And Ryan Thompson's heart is bigger than anybody's heart that I've ever met. But the occasion was all about Ryan. I feel like I'm getting ready for a big game. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. It's a, this is the same feeling I, I get when I'm getting ready for a game. I don't like that feeling. <laughs> You, you know you're prepared, you know, but the, the feeling, it's there, you just, you just can't wait to get on the field and get the ball rolling, like here I can't wait to get up there and talk, because once the first word rolls off my tongue, then, it, then we're in the game, there's no escape in the game, you know, I'm just personally happy to be, be among elite group, you know, of athletes and, and contributors, you know. I don't take it for granted, you know, this, it's, it's not a right, it's a privilege. So I am really appreciative of it, really, really appreciate it. You don't put yourself up, you know, it's always someone have to put you up, you know. And for you to get to this point, you got to be people in your corner, acknowledging the work that you do, and speaking of you in good, good, good light, saying that you're a good person, most importantly. And of course, you got to be an amazing athlete as well. Rich Ryan Thompson is now a Hall of Famer at the University of Tampa. Mom, due to circumstances beyond your control, you couldn't come to my graduation in 2010. Tonight, you're here. What a night to be here, Mom. What a special moment to witness your only child receive such an amazing honor. Mom, you deserve this moment. Thank you for all your sacrifices, Mom. Mary Elizabeth Alexander, your son is an Hall of Famer. 